Well, he's made two tough ones in a row. Let's see if he tries for three here. I'd love to see it. Nice he's got shot. A, what an exhibition here. We're seeing. John Gorman. Watch this. Couldn't. You described it. You couldn't have uh, told the story any better as to where to hit that pin. John Gorman. Hey, he hey, finally says, got to do it the easy way. This time, <laughs> knock them all down at the same time. So John has uh, probably hit three of the toughest spares in a row that I've ever seen. But you'd hate to think you have to make three shots <laughs> like that every time before you get a strike. Wes O'Donnell now. He's had uh, things pretty much his own way through the first eight frames. Oh. Wes gave it a little oh. hop. Even with John making all those shots, Wes isn't looking over his shoulder. He put his head down and keep on going. Most John Gorman can shoot 169. Yep. And Wes so is... Miss there. Leaves him with a 145, 154 possible, 155 with this pin, and he's got it. If, and if he marks in the 10th frame, he already has, with, with just a wood box in the 10th the, uh, frame, he's going to have John on at least two more strikes. If he marks, he's going to close him out, and he will be our champion. He struck every time on this frame, on this lane, Mike. Four for four on the left lane. Well, let's see if he keeps that streak going. Yep. Well, it's not over. No, John Gorman's got a little adrenaline flowing after making some of those great shots. We could have a tight finish yet. If he misses, if he doesn't make any one of those three split, splits, it's over. And uh, that's got to be going through Wes's head, at least, you know, a, a thought. If not a thought, it'll be an afterthought if John Gorman throws a doubleheader or a triple. Well, Wes O'Donnell down to his last ball. He rolls it through the middle to finish with a 161. So? Seemed like he should have had 190 the way he was moving pins around, didn't it? Yeah. But he didn't throw a double, and it's it's hard to get out of the 60s or 70s unless you catch the doubleheader strike. And he was he was every other frame. Yep. This must be a strike. John Gorman, do or die here. It's not. Oh! <laughs> Hold all tickets, folks. Well, you won't see a stranger one than that. And let's take a look. Anybody going down the ramps will turn around and come back now, won't they, Mike? That's a live ball. Uh, just to explain what happened, the ball deflected off the head pin to the wall and came across, and the ball is live from the time it makes contact with a pin. Had it gone in the channel and come out and then hit a pin, it's a dead ball. He needs one more. He's Are you it. kidding me? Holy mackerel, Mike, I don't believe this. I absolutely do not believe this. John Gorman. He needs, now he's not finished, he needs three on this ball. Do you believe this? He went three splits in a row, three strikes. And he's on the verge. The shot that was heard all over the world where we were just speaking of that a little while ago. My goodness. Stay behind the line and keep it in the middle. And he's got he's it! Finished. Holy mackerel. John Gorman with an impossible finish. And he pulls it off to win it. 169-161. And a standing ovation for John Gorman. Let's take a look again. Well, That's there you see. Icing on the cake. That's the replay of the last four balls that John Gorman threw. And we showed you three replays prior to that where he made splits. Just incredible. And we'll be back to talk to the Miracle Man, John Gorman, after this.